Welcome to Witness Wednesdays here on the Walk Boldly with Jesus podcast. I am your host, Katherine Duggan. However, each Wednesday, I will have a guest give their witness of how God is working in their lives. Hearing how God is working in other people's lives shows us how deeply He cares for each one of us individually. Listening to these experiences will help your faith grow. I am so blessed to be able to share these with you. Let's get started. Today I want to witness about how God is working in the little ways in our lives. I know recently I've been talking more about the miracles I've been seeing God doing, and I think that's awesome. I am so grateful He is still working miracles today. I am grateful in this crazy world that God is still showing up and still showing us how much He loves us, even when the world is not loving Him back. I also think that not everybody is seeing miracles, I think there are a lot of people suffering and a lot of people that are struggling right now. I know there is a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety in the world. And sometimes that can make people lean into God more. However, sometimes it can make people feel more alone. Maybe you're listening to the Witness Wednesdays and thinking, that's great that she's seeing miracles, but what about me? How is God working in my life? I'm not seeing him heal people. Where is God showing up for me? This is a question that I think we all have at one time or another. Sometimes it can seem like God is working in everyone else's life, but we can't see him working in our lives. My prayer is that these Witness Wednesdays will help us all start to recognize God working in our lives more often. Today I want to witness to how God has been in all the little details, not just the big ones. In 2019, I found a podcast called The Big Life Podcast. I am sure it was God that helped me find this podcast. I listened for quite some time and loved how it talked about scripture every day and also tied it into how to live the big life God created us to live. After a while of listening to the podcast, I joined Big Life Mentoring, which was run by the creator of the podcast, Pamela Krim. I decided to join in February of 2020. God was in the details as well because I had just started my own business. I had a whole marketing plan. I was ready to go. Then March 2020 is when everything shut down. We weren't really allowed to leave our house. We weren't really allowed to leave our houses. Kids were at home. Tony was at home. I was at home. I am a social person and God knows this. I truly believe it was his plan for me to join mentoring so I would not feel so alone during the pandemic. As I said, I joined mentoring in February. However, I didn't really get close with anyone until April when Pamela decided to form small workout groups. By the end of April, everyone was getting tired of being in isolation and finding reasons to get out of bed in the morning when we couldn't leave our homes was getting harder. So Pamela formed workout groups of eight people. The leader of the group would start a Facebook call at whatever time you signed up for, and we would talk for a few minutes and then say good morning to each other. Then we would do a workout from YouTube together. They were short, 10 to 20 minutes, but they got us up and moving, and we had that daily contact with other humans. It was so great. The leader of my group, Kim, agreed to keep doing the calls every morning. And so two years later, actually almost three years later, we are still working out together and checking in with each other. What I find amazing is how God put together this group of eight random strangers, and we are such a perfect fit for each other. The first thing I find interesting is our names. We have two Catherines spelled exactly the same way. Kathleen, Kim, Kimberly, Kelly, Ashley, and Natalie. Each one of us either owns our own business or wants to. Three of our group members have studied nutrition and exercise. Two of our group members have trained to be massage therapists. At least two of our members in our group have children that are very difficult in very similar ways. Several ladies in the group love Disney. Most of the ladies in our group love to run. All of the ladies in our group love Jesus. We all love setting goals and keeping them. I finally found people 
who get just as excited as I do about a new planner and a new year. If you have always had friends that love Jesus, you might not know what a rare find that is. Looking back, I actually have had friends that I can talk about God or Jesus to for a long time because I joined women's groups. However, I haven't had a group of ladies that I talk to daily that talk about prayer and God. We don't sit around and gossip and complain about our husbands. We do talk about what's going on and what we're struggling with, and then we try to help each other overcome those struggles. It has been a breath of fresh air, and we were all able to keep in touch during the whole pandemic. We even got together and ran a half marathon down in Gulf Shores, Alabama. I remember the first time I met any of them in person was when I signed up for a Bigger Life retreat in Tennessee. Two other group members were going, Kimberly and Kelly. Kimberly is from Maine and she was driving down, so we decided to drive together. When we decided to drive together, we had been talking in the mornings for about four months. We thought we knew each other, and then when we were in the car for two days driving, we really got to know each other better. This was when we found out how similar our situations with our children were. Well, the situation is different, but the similarities with the way our children acted was so similar. It was great because Kimberly thought it was just her going through it. She felt alone and like no one understood. We talked the whole way to Tennessee and the whole way home. We talked about parenting, our jobs, our religion, our beliefs. It was great. We both definitely needed that trip and that time together. Then we met up with Kelly at the retreat and we got to know her better as well. It has been almost three years together and we have all been through a lot. We have all needed to lean in and rely on the group for support at some point over the last three years. It was not all at the same time, and we were able to be there for each person as they needed support. I know these last three years would have been hard for each of us if we weren't checking in on each other and having the support of knowing the ladies in that group would do anything for us. We all get down. We all have rough days. Who do you have checking in on you and making sure you don't stay down? This is super important, and I know God knew we would each need each other over the last four years. I am so grateful to God and Pamela for putting together this group of exceptional women. You might be looking at this witness and not really seeing how God played a role in it. However, there were multiple different workout groups, and they all met at different times throughout the day. What are the chances that these eight people, who were so perfectly matched, would wind up in the same group? And I don't mean perfectly matched like we're all the same. We are very different in personalities and family makeup and such. But what is so perfect is that we all complement each other so well. Our personalities mix together well and make a great group. God was definitely in the making of this group. That is the reason I wanted to witness about it today. Look in your life and see what situations, what jobs, what friend groups might God have arranged for you. If you are struggling to see God working in your life, start thinking about the things that have happened that seem too good to be true, like this group of women from all over the country that have only met in person a few times and yet would do anything for each other. God is so good. He is working in these quiet, unseen ways in your life too. We have all seen God working in our lives. However, we might not all be aware it is God who is working in our lives. This is why it's so important we start talking about it more. The more we share our experiences, the more people understand how God works and how much he truly loves us. If you would be willing to share any of your experiences of how God has worked in your life, please email me at katherine at findingtruenorthcoaching.com. C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E at findingtruenorthcoaching.com. Or you can click on the link below. It won't take up much of your time, and your story could be just the story someone needs to hear today please prayerfully consider sharing your story. 
Everyone has one, and the world needs to hear them. I look forward to spending time with you again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. I will have another witness for you next Wednesday. Have a blessed day.